Welcome to HJC content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, assistant professor in the Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Kadaro. In this video, I am going to discuss about optical activity. Optical activity is nothing but certain substance have the property. The property of substance certain substance rotate the plane of polarization. polarization through an angle theta is known as optical activity this is the definition for optical activity so, so only a certain substance have the property of rotate the plane of polarization to certain angle. Uh, well, before going to see about the optical activity, what is polarization and what is plane of polarization we should know. Polarization is the uh, rest, uh, phenomenon of light that is restriction of Polarization. This is the phenomenon of light. Light. That is, it will confirm the transverse nature of the light. This phenomenon confirm the transverse nature. Trans. Matter, matter of light. What is that? That is uh, polarization is nothing but uh, restriction of vibration. Restriction of vibration in a particular plane. That means. The unpolarized light have the vibrations in all direction. This is unpolarized light. It will have the vibration in all the plane. It should it should be polarized using a certain crystal called a quartz crystal. On passing through this, the unpolarized light get polarized. That is, on passing through this uh, quartz crystal, only a particular vibration is allowed to pass through it. That vibration is parallel to the axis of the crystal. So, this is unpolarized light. After passing through the crystal, we get a polarized light. So, this is the uh, phenomenon restriction of vibration in a particular plane that is called polarization. Next, we should know the plane of polarization. Plane of polarization. So, this is our quartz crystal. That is a polarizer. We can say this is a polarizer which will polarize the light radiation. So, this is unpolarized light. So, this light is passed through this 
polarizer we will get a light vibration in a particular plane only that is the vibration parallel to the axis only pass through the crystal so this is the polarized light this the plane containing the light vibration this is the plane which will contain the light vibration this is plane of vibration in this plane we will have here one more plane which will lies perpendicular to this plane of vibration this is the perpendicular plane in this direction we have that is called plane of polarization so this plane of polarization is rotated by the certain substance that is called a optical activity the plane of polarization is rotated through an angle that is called the optical activity so the optically active substances optically active substance is this substance which will rotate substance which rotate plane of polarization is known as optically active substance substance so example for op optically active substance example quartz quartz sugar solution turpentine oil etc this is our some example for optically active substance which rotate the plane of polarization plane of polarization means the plane which is perpendicular to the plane of vibration which will be rotated through an angle only certain substances that substances are called optically active substance the phenomenon is known as optical activity we have uh, two types of uh, optically active substances types of optically active substance we have two types one is dextro rotatory or right handed and number 2 levo rotatory or left handed dextro rotatory that will rotate the plane of polarization in clockwise direction so dextro rotate the plane of polarization in clockwise direction whereas the levo rotatory will rotate the plane of polarization in anti clockwise that means if you have a unpolarized light passing through a 
polarizer so we will get the polarized light after passing through the optically active substance active substance the light will get rotated either in clockwise direction through and some an angle theta or in clockwise direction if the uh, plane of polarization rotated through clockwise means that substance are called the dextro rotatory if the plane of polarization rotated in anti clockwise direction that is called the levo rotatory these are the two types of optically active substances next we are going to see about the specific rotation rotatory power is represented by a letter s which is equal to theta divided by lc here theta is the angle of rotation and l is the length of the solution and c is the concentration which will be defined as rotation produced by the uh, solution at a given temperature for the given wavelength that is called a specific rotatory power s yes. so it's take the form theta by lc thank you